Hey guys, this is Markel Williams from Firefighter Ambitions. Before we get into tying knots, we're going to cover some basic rope terminology, so stick with me. So let's start with this rope. The end we begin to start our knot on, that's known as the working end or running end. The opposite end is known as a standing end. Now you may also hear the term loop, and there's a lot of confusion that happens with a loop. So here's a loop. This is an overhand loop because the working end is over the standing end. Now if you reverse that, this is known as an underhand loop because the working end is underneath the standing end. You may also hear the term turn. That means you're just going over an object like this. You're not going completely around. You're just kind of like a bend over. That's a turn. Now, if you go all the way around an object and you create that loop there, that's called a round turn. Another term you may hear is a bite. That's pretty much when you take one part of the rope and you touch another part of the rope. That's a bite. A bend is just simply a bend. It's not a bite, it's a bend. Now that we cover some basic terminology, let's get in and tie some knots. Tying the bowling knot, you want to put the working end between your two fingers, come over the rope, and create this here. Now what you want to do is you want to take that same working end, come around, and then back through the hole. You're creating a little mini bite here. So you grab both, pull, and there goes your knot. Now there's another option to tie the bowling, it's called a snap bowling. So you take that same working end. You create an underhand loop, just like that. You want to reach under, pull the working end. You don't want to pull it all the way through, just enough to make a little loop. You want to grab the standing end of the rope, stick it through that hole, pull it back to where you create like a, a little mini bite with itself, grab both, grab the working end, snap it. There goes your bowling, snap bowling. So tying the figure eight knot, you want to grab your rope, create a little bend, then you want to bring it over your rope, all the way around it, then back up through the hole. It's your figure eight.
find the figure eight on a bike. First thing you want to do is you want to grab your rope. You want to create a bite. Give yourself enough throw to where you can tie it. So create a bite. Just going to take that bite. Create a bend here. Come over all the way around both parts of the rope and then back through the hole. And then you just pull that loop through, dress it up, figure it on the bike. Tying the figure eight follow through. What you want to do is you want to first create a figure eight. So you want to create a bend in your rope. Make sure you give yourself enough because you're going to need a lot. Then you're going to come over, around, and back through your loop here, okay? Give yourself a, a long tail because you're going to need it to complete the follow through. So give yourself plenty of tail to work with. Now, what you want to do is you want to take that same end of the rope that you put you made the figure eight with, grab your carabiner or your object that you're going through, all you want to do is follow that same line all the way back through. So following the same line, following it, going through, around, because it's coming around. Now it's going down under and around, so down under and around. Now it's coming down under and back up through. So I'm going to do the same thing, down under. and back up through. Figure it fall through. Tying the clove hitch knot. What you're gonna do is you wanna take your rope, throw it over your object, 
give yourself enough here. You're going to come over and across, back over your object, just like this. You're going to come all the way around it, under itself, and back up. And that's your claw hitch. So there's another way to tie the claw hitch knot. What you want to do is you want to create two underhand loops. So one, two. Now with that second loop, all you want to do is just put it over your first one. Then you place it on your, your object there. And you got your cold edge now. Tying the half hitch knot. What you want to do is you want to find your object. You want to come through your object under the rope here. Then all you want to do is make that loop and come through the loop. Cinch it down. It's your half hitch. Tying the square knot, what you're going to do is you're going to grab your two equal diameter ropes. I'm going to take right, I'm going to go right over left first. So, right over left, then all I'm doing is taking that same rope from the right and turning it over that first rope. Now I'm going to give myself enough throw here with the ropes. Now I did right over left for the first one, now I'm going to go left over right. Same thing, left over right doing a turn over that same rope. Now all I'm doing is I'm just going to set it down. Square knot. the sheet bend knot. First thing you want to do is you want to take your larger diameter rope, create a bend. Okay, now you want to take your smaller diameter rope, come under, then you're going to go over. Now you're going to come under both pieces of the larger diameter. So you're under both pieces. Now, 
you want to do is you want to come over the larger diameter and back under yourself the smaller diameter and all you do is pull it up cinch it down sheet and bend knot.